Welcome back to Japan 2022. In this video, I'll be taking you to a Buddhist temple stay and more adventures in Kyoto. First up was Gyokuzoin Temple, located on a somewhat remote mountaintop in Nara Prefecture. We traveled there from Kyoto and it took around two hours. We were supposed to get there before 6.30 p.m., but due to our poor time management skills, we arrived around 7. We had a bit of trouble finding the front entrance in the dark. Ari was not amused. Where the heck is everybody? Lisa? Okay, good. Okay. Should we knock on the door? The remnants of someone? We made it in all one piece and was promptly served our dinner. At Temple Stays, also known as Shikubo in Japanese, they serve a special vegetarian meal called Shojin Yori. The tempura sweet potato was my favorite. After dinner, I decided to take my camera and explore the grounds. I mean, I wasn't afraid. Just put on my shoes. You're supposed to take off your shoes before going in, so I had to find the exit. This place is a maze on the inside, um, and I saw the map of the grounds, and it looks like a maze as well, so hopefully I don't get lost in the temple grounds in the middle of the night. Uh, there's like no one here, but down for the adventure. So if I don't come back, maybe the spirits took me, I don't know. Just put on my shoes. I got my camera. I hope this is okay, but I'm just going out. It's not even that late. It's like... After my exploring was over, I joined Ari in our room and changed into the yukata that the temple provided. It was onsen time, my favorite time of the day. After the onsen, it was time for bed. We had a long day and another long day ahead of us. We totally did not wake up in time for the 5 a.m. fire ceremony. We pretty much did the temple stay wrong, but I guess it is a lesson for next time. Anyway, we needed to get back to Kyoto, so we took another cab to the train to another train via Osaka which was cool because I've never been to Osaka, 
So this was my little glimpse of it. Renting a kimono once was not enough, so we did it again. And this time we hired a photographer to take some photos of us. Okay, will you calm down? We are in Setsu's kimono shop. Woo! Okay, let's go. Ikimasho. Going down the stairs and hoping I won't fall and die. Arigato gozaimasu. Oh. Is this some? Um, is this a, a, a vintage or do you know? This is vintage. Like 50 years. Wow. It's vintage. It's very pretty. I love the flowers. Thanks, Setsu. Another thing we booked on Airbnb experiences was this walking tour of Gion at night. Again, I will leave the link in the description below. You grew up in the United States uh, yes. and you said you would come here, and, but you're, you're, so your parents are Japanese? Uh, my mom's side, yes. Uh, she's from Kyoto and uh, I used to have a traditional Japanese umbrella shop on the Gion uh, on the streets of the night. Julian taught us a lot about maikos and geikos, also known as geishas, and religion in Japan, such as Shintoism and Buddhism. After the tour, I grabbed some sushi and then met up with my local friends that live in Kyoto at some questionably named places. Just act natural! Act natural? Act natural! <laughs> Thanks everyone for an awesome night out. I won't forget it. The next morning, we headed to Ginkakuji, also known as the Silver Pavilion. This temple is famous for its moss gardens and sand sculptures, and it's one of my personal favorites in Kyoto.
After Ginkakuji, we took a stroll down the philosopher's path, a beautiful trail surrounded by nature and temples. Okazaki Shrine is not far from the bottom of the Philosopher's Path, and it just happens to be the cutest shrine you could ever go to, with tons of little bunny statues. For lunch, we headed to Vegan Ramen Uzu in Kyoto. There's also a location in Tokyo, which we went to as well. This place was such an amazing experience. When you first walk in, they give you essential oils to clear your mind and senses, and then you're surrounded by this art by Team Labs. Oh, and the ramen was delicious. Teramachi Shopping Street and Nishiki Market were just down the block, so we headed there one last time before saying bye to our friends at the Ace Hotel. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button.